everybody, and welcome to the Denzi Blitz. I'm Mike from Electric City Sentai Denzi Caster, and we are on part nine of our ten-part look at Kiryu Sentai Zhu Ranger, uh, the 1992 Super Sentai installment that inspired Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, kind of timely when you stop to think about it. Uh, the Lionsgate uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot movie uh, out there on the horizon. So. Uh, pretty timely that we're going through and looking at the show that inspired it all, so to speak, uh, at least from the Power Rangers point of view. Now, of course, this is several years into the Super Sentai series. 1975 is when the series started in Japan with Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger. Who knows, maybe we'll look at that one one day. It's 84 episodes long, though, uh, I think, at least. So if we do that one, we'll be talking about it for a while. But... Uh, we are in the home stretch here, folks. We are on Desk 9 now, of course, and I do say this every episode, and I will say it again, uh, especially when we're covering something that has gotten a domestic release here in the United States. Uh, if you are a Tokusatsu fan, uh, whether it's Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Godzilla, Ultraman, Kamen Rider, what have you, when one of these things comes out here stateside, folks, pick it up. If you if we don't buy it, they stop making it. Uh, the, the anime crash that a lot of diehard anime fans will remember with dread um, was part because of things like that. That it, it was coming out, but we weren't picking it up. Uh, so if you see this, folks, go get it, uh, especially if it's something you think you'll like. Uh, I'm, if you don't like this kind of stuff, then obviously you shouldn't buy it. But if you like Power Rangers, give this a shot. Very affordable right now. It's the whole series, 40 bucks. And of course, uh, Shout Factory, who put out this fine set along with the other three Super Sentai box sets that are out right now here in the States. Uh, they did not send this to us. They are not sponsoring us. They are not giving us a dime. If they would like, uh, they can hit us up on one of the social media outlets that comes up after the flip at the end of the episode, though. Just saying. Okay. So, cheap plugs and crap out of the way. Let's get to this. So, five episodes of Zhu Ranger to go through. We have in this uh, disc, Blaze Barai. Barai Dies. Live Again, Zyusokin, Japan's Best Swordswoman, and The Foolish Boy. Um, so, one of the things we see here, and I'm going to say this part now, and this really relates to Japan's Best Swordswoman and The Foolish Boy, uh, those two particular episodes. Um, it is something that happened, uh, in my experience watching older Super Sentai, happened a lot more in the 80s and... Uh, early to mid 90s than it does now and that is as you get towards the end of the series um there's still filler to be had um calling this the way it is really and i'm, I'm i am starting in reverse we're going to start with the last two episodes um uh the foolish boy is um it is nothing but filler to be perfectly honest and it's filler that to me at this point in the series, with less than 10 episodes left, probably wasn't overly necessary. Um, it, the basic gist of it is this boy controls a unicorn, uh, or at least he thinks he does. Um, and we're back to the all brand of fantastical elements that they throw into, uh, into this series uh, with the dinosaur fantasy motif. Um, but it, it's got sort of an uh, ecological message slash uh, moral, uh, which is certainly worth having, uh, do not get me wrong. Um, so, I mean, it has that lesson to be taught, but um, I really, it's it's the, I think six, there are six episodes left when that one hits. It's a 50 episode series, that was episode 45. So I I really question its positioning in the series, um, most of all. I mean, it, the episode, I wouldn't have had a problem with it if it had come much earlier. But with its where it is in the series, with only six episodes to go when it airs, uh, I question that more than a little. Um, the episode that precedes that, uh, Japan's Best Swordswoman, again, is a filler episode, but... Um, I don't know. I, I just I found that episode more engaging. Uh, the basic premise of that episode is that there is a chimera, again to the fanciful themes, um, and the chimera can mimic and or possess people 
and gain all of their abilities. And we see very quickly in the episode that it, uh, you know, uh, takes over a couple of different athletes and, and type individuals to have all these gifts for when it fights the Zhu Rangers. And it wants to possess uh, the best kendo player in Japan, Japan's best swordswoman. And uh, when it tries initially, it fails. She actually fights it off. Um, Gosh winds up uh, helping out. Gosh winds up getting hurt by the woman when she does get possessed eventually. Um, and it's this very prideful woman who eventually it, it needs the help and can help herself. Um, so it, it's a, an interesting episode with a strong female guest star character who still winds up essentially being the damsel in distress. I don't I don't dislike it as much here as I did in the uh, May's Metamorphosis episode, um, where the episode is all about May. It's her focus episode, and yet she still needs to be saved. Um, I don't like it. I, I don't dislike it as much here because it's it's the victim, and there have been plenty of times in the show where the victim is a guy as much as it is a girl in these shows. So, um, again, it's filler, but it's. I found it to be more entertaining filler than the Foolish Boy episode. Um, and then we have the three episodes that precede it. Uh, the first three episodes on the disc. So we would be talking about episodes 41, 42, and 43. Um, and that would be Blaze Barai, Barai Dies, and Zusokin. Uh, 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 I think Zusokin Lives Again. Or Live Again Zusokin. One or the other. Um, those three episodes... Those are definitely on the essentials list. This is the end of the Barai story arc. Um, and it is um, fairly touching. It, it pulls on some emotional strings, which is something that Super Sentai uh, can do on occasion. Uh, so, it, it, and in this case, it did it pretty dang well. Um, it's the last four hours of Barai's life. Um, we go into this from the cliffhanger from the previous uh, disc, knowing that when Barai leaves, according to Clotho, when he leaves the lapsless room, or as they are calling it in, in the official uh, uh, Shout Factory sub, the timeless room, when he leaves the timeless room for the last time, it you know the next time, it will be the last time that he will never be able to return. And they never say why. They just say that that's going to happen. When he leaves this next time, that's it. He doesn't get to go back. Um, and we know that uh, Dragon Caesar is rampaging across the city, uh, apparently under the control of Queen Bandora once again. Um, so what we find out very early on here is it's not Dragon Caesar. It is uh, a Dora monster that is impersonating it. Um, and can impersonate all the various mecha, uh, which it does throughout the episode uh, Blaze Barai. And we essentially uh, see that creating the illusion that Dragon Caesar is causing the rampage is a trap to get Barai out of the Timeless Room, and that Bandora has cast a spell that the next time he tries to leave, that her magic will home in on Zusokin's position and will know when he tries to use it where he is. And he has to use Zusokin to leave the Timeless Room. So, um, there it is. And when they locate it, they're going to destroy the room so that Barai can never go back. Um, so, there is uh, the trap. And over the course of the next couple episodes, the trap is sprung. Um, in the episode, Blaze Barai... Uh, Barai gets out. Barai manages to um, manages to go out and f basically blow this imp imposter dragon Caesar's cover. Um, but in the process, Bandora does find the room and does destroy it personally. She does not send her minions to do it. She does it. Uh, so again, another look at the fact that. Bandora is far more hands-on a villain than Rita Repulsa was in Power Rangers, her Power Rangers counterpart. Um, 
we see a few different really cool things over these episodes, and we really get to see Barai as a character between uh, Blaze Barai and Barai Dies, which are his last two episodes, uh, specifically. Uh, Live Again's Usokin is sort of the epilogue to the Dragon Ranger story arc. Um, with Blaze Barai and Barai Dies, we also see the kid in, in the rickshaw. So we saw in Barai's Deathly Departure, uh, which we talked about last time, the rickshaw picking up Barai in his dream, carrying him to the land of the dead, and him passing a bench that has a little kid sitting there. And in the beginning of Blaze Barai, we find out that that little kid is waiting for the next rickshaw. So Barai becomes somewhat possessed with finding this kid, that his time is numbered, but this kid's might not be. And uh, when he realizes he can't go back to the room, that's what he decides to do. I've got four hours left to live. I'm going to find this kid and save his life. Um, and he tries. But the rampage of Dragon Caesar, uh, the imposter Dragon Caesar, and later the imposter uh, Go Ryuzen, uh, winds up making a bunch of rubble and part of a building collapse on the kid and uh, deals him mortal wounds. He's going to die. Um, we see them do something that was done much earlier in the series. Uh, Barai, in an attempt to uh, help the kid and perhaps prolong his life, gives the dragon metal, uh, what we would have called them power coins and power rangers, uh, in this their medals, gives his medal, the dragon medal, to this kid um, because the medals help uh, the rangers heal and uh, improve their health, their stamina, and so on. Uh, it's how one of the ways they've lived for millions upon millions of years. And what we find out is that metal is not going to be enough. Um, we find that out over the, over the couple episodes. That alone is not going to save, save this kid's life. But also by giving the kid the metal, it's going to prevent Barai from transforming. He cannot become Dragon Ranger without the metal. Um, we saw this happen much earlier in the series when Geki gives the Tyranno medal to a kid in, that's in need of it and to try and help the kid recover. Uh, and it worked earlier in the series, but the kid earlier in the series was not as banged up as this one is. Um, so, Barai, uh, who is the only Zhu Ranger that can call his guardian beast without transforming because of Zhu Soken, because of the flute, um, he winds up calling on Zhu Soken uh, or calling on, using his son to call on Dragon Caesar to fight this thing off. Um, in the meantime, the Zhu Rangers are praying to the Guardian Beasts, to their deities, to Daizujin. There's got to be a way. Please help us find a way. They, they have found that there is an elixir that could save Barai's life. Um, they find that the only way to get to this elixir is essentially by faith. Um, that you know, uh, God will point you on the right path if your faith is strong enough, basically. And they pray, please. Um, so Daizujin strips our heroes of their dino bucklers. Uh, so they can't transform either now. And it transports two of them, uh, Gosh and Dan. Uh, so Mammoth Ranger Black and Tricera Ranger Blue. Uh, transports them to this land where they can find the pot, they can find the elixir, and then they're going to have to fight off a wraith uh, placed there by this deity to then get the elixir. Um, and because they don't have their dino bucklers, they have to do it with their own two hands. No help. Uh, you, you have to earn it. The powers that, that these deities have granted them will not be used in order to complete this challenge. Um, the two different pieces I'll, I'll, I'll briefly discuss, because uh, I know I'm going into the plot a lot more on these batches of episodes more than I would others, but it's because, to me, it is such a well-crafted story and a well-crafted conclusion. Um, Barai and uh, the remaining Zhu Rangers... Uh, get an incredible moment of awesome. Barai goes out the way every ranger that dies should go out, period. And that is, he goes out like a champ. Um, you have uh, you have 
Gosh and Dan get to the Wraith. The Wraith beats the bejesus out of them. Can't she can't they can't stop her. Um eventually um Dizusion hears their cries and and their bucklers come back. Uh and even transformed, they really can't do a lot. They they ultimately fail. Um, in the real world, where uh, where May and Boy and Geki are untransformed, trying to do whatever they can, Barai untransformed, trying to do whatever he can. Uh, in this moment, for in the last moments of his life, Barai really becomes the leader of the Zhu Rangers for the last moments of his life, where he said, I can't transform, I don't have my metal, but I'm going to do whatever I can. And he calls Dragon Caesar and even looks up to his guardian beast and says, let me fight with you this time. And it is the only time in the entire series that uh, that we see Barai pilot Dragon Caesar. Uh, he jumps into his Guardian Beast untransformed. He can't, remember, no metal. And actually pilots uh, Dragon Caesar into battle. And uh, eventually, when he's against the ropes, uh, his fellow Zhu Rangers uh, are fighting off uh, you know, and, and doing everything they can, fighting off the minions, uh, Griff, Sor, and Lamy, and, and the golems on the ground. Uh, and Geki says, before they charge into battle, I will follow my brother's lead. I will do whatever I can. Um, and so he leads the rest of his team into battle while uh, Barai is piloting Dragon Caesar. When they are all on the ropes, Geki looks up and says, Have we not done enough, basically? How can it end this way? Please, if you were there and you were listening... Dizusion, our gods, our deity, please do something. Barai in Dragon Caesar, which is more and more pounded around him and sparks going off, uh, puts his hands to the cockpit glass and transforms without his metal uh, and is actually able to become Dragon Ranger despite not having his metal in, in his possession. And he cries out to Dizugin, which answers his call uh, when he calls for his guardian beast, and he calls for all of them. Um, Geki calls too, but when Geki calls and says, we summon the guardian beasts, there's no answer. When Barai calls for them, they come. Um, and they form uh, Ultimate Dizugin, the Ultra Zord. Uh, they save the day. It is the only time we ever see um, we ever see the Dragon Ranger in one of the main seats. There is an episode earlier when we first see Ultimate Dizusion where uh, the Dragon Ranger is basically seated behind Geki in the cockpit. So there are all six there. But uh, for this, Dragon Ranger occupies uh, what would normally be normally be, I believe it's Gosha's seat in the cockpit. Luckily there's a picture here. Yes, normally it would be Gosha's seat. Um, and it's also the only time we ever see uh, Boy in one of the front seats occupying what is normally Dan's seat. Um, but we see them piloting together side by side in Ultimate Dizusion. They save the day. But the, uh, the clock strikes midnight, so to speak. Time's up. Barai is going to die. There's nothing that can stop it. Um, and we have Barai um, in, uh, on the beach. He, he transports out of the cockpit. Uh, the wraith that has been fought uh, trying to get the elixir by Gosh and Dan, we find out, is actually Clotho, who says, you couldn't stop it. You would never have been able to stop it. His time is up. The man is already dead. Uh, but you can fulfill his wish. You can do what he wants done. His last wish is to see that this kid lives, and that kid's candle hasn't burned out yet, basically. Um, you know, that kid could still live, but the dragon metal itself is not enough to, to save his life. Give him the elixir. Barai's done what he came to do. 
Um, and that is essentially where that episode will end. We, we do wind up on the beach with uh, Barai dying in the arms of Geki, surrounded by some of his fellow rangers, May and uh, Boy, uh, not before turning over the dragon armor uh, and Zeusokin and dragon Caesar all to his brother, so that while he is gone, his weapons remain. Uh, so they, they still have the arsenal, even if they're a man down. Um, we cut to the hospital. The boy lives. He recovers instantly with the elixir. But when he opens his hands and he's asking where Barai is, the dragon coin fades away. It disappears forever. Um, the There really is no following that. The, the epilogue episode, Live Again, Zusokin, um, is essentially... Uh, we get to see a character development episode for one of the Guardian Beasts. It's a character development episode for Dragon Caesar. Uh, Dragon Caesar is in mourning. He has lost his master. And, uh, and that is essentially the gist of the entire episode. Um, is He's lost his master. He's lost the will to fight. But his, Geki basically reminds him... My brother would not want you like this. Our battle continues, and our bro you know, my brother, your master, he lives on with us. Um, and so we get to see, uh, we get to see Geki accept that his brother is gone. He accepts it through helping Dragon Caesar accept it, and he, you know, accepts his brother's legacy in doing so. Um, so it's really a, a some very cool episodes, and, and there's some interlude moments in um, Barai's last two episodes where it's him and the kid, it's him and Kota, um, playing with Dragon Caesar because it's Kota's favorite guardian beast. And we get to see some fun uh, in his last moments, in his last hours. So it's some, it's some really cool episodes, and it's a really fitting way for Barai to exit the series. So uh, definitely, definitely... Uh, dig those three episodes uh, and I'm looking forward to the last disc it's the final countdown folks there's only five episodes left before we are done with uh, Kiryu Sentai Zhu Ranger I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this ends um, I know how Power Rangers ended season one and I know that it's going to be different because um, I know that season one of Power Rangers got extended a lot um, so I'm really looking forward to watching the differences. I've never seen the end of this. I never saw the episodes where Barai dies in the series. So um, I'm, I'm really genuinely looking forward to what comes next. So uh, with that said, of course, uh, that means we've only got one more week left of uh, Zhu Ranger. Uh, in two weeks' time, uh, we're going to be bringing uh, in Common Rider Decades. So that's going to be the next show here on the Blitz. That's uh, going to last us. I believe it's going to be a six-part series when we take a look at Decker Ranger, or not Decker Ranger, Decade. Decker Ranger is probably going to follow Decade. Um, maybe, maybe not. Probably. Um, if it doesn't, it'll be something short that follows it, and then we'll move on to Decker Ranger. But regardless. That's what's on the horizon. Decade comes next. Um, so, to wrap up this week, as we've only got one episode left of uh, the Denzi Blitz with G Ranger, please share, like, subscribe, all the things you do here on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash ECS. Uh, so facebook.com slash DenziCaster. I'm getting my social medias mixed up. Uh, Facebook.com slash DenziCaster. We are on Twitter, at ECS Podcasts. We are on Instagram. Have been for a while. Just uh, We record these well in advance. So that's why you haven't heard us mention it before. But uh, we are on Instagram. It's Instagram.com slash ECS Network or at ECS Network, if you're actually like in the Instagram app, uh, app rather. Uh, and if you'd like to help us out here at the uh, ECS Network and here at DenziCaster and Denzi Blitz, we would love your help. Check us out uh, over at cafepress.com slash ECS Network. You can pick up some t-shirts, some license plates, some uh, stickers, some drinkware, all kinds of cool stuff. And everything you buy there goes to help the network. It does not go in anybody's pocket. Not mine, not any of the other hosts for any of the other shows. It is strictly to help 
pay for stuff here on the network, whether that is uh, new cameras, whether that is uh, lighting or what have you, that's what it goes to. And uh, we very much appreciate anything you might be willing to do and any gear you might be willing to support to help us out. And hey, one thing, we haven't said this before, but if you do pick up something from the network and you're on one of our social media outlets, do us a favor, tag us, show off the gear. Let us see that uh, you are backing the Electric City Sentai or Rage Quit Radio or the announcer's booth or what have you. But definitely uh, check out the store if you get a chance and let us know what you think. Your opinion means more to us than anything else. So let us know what you think of the show. Let us know what you want us to watch, not only here on Denzy Blitz, but on Denzy Caster too. Until next time, and next time will be the last time for G-Ranger, I'm Mike, and we'll see you on the Denzy Blitz.